I have another ColourPop palette that I have not tried and today we're gonna give it a shot. This is the Orange You Glad palette and true to its name, lots of orange. This was actually given to me by my best friend. Hi Leslie, if you're watching. I haven't experimented to see what kind of a look I can get out of it. So we're gonna do that today. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little bit of this. This Ulta brand, this is the Plumped Up Pout Lip Gloss and this is the shade 386. It's just a real clear. Anyway, I just like the way it feels. It has a little tingle and it feels nice and it looks nice. I don't really know that this is particularly plumping. I can feel the tingle, but otherwise I'm not sure. And when I buy things that say plumping, to be honest, I'm not really looking for plumping. <laughs> I just want to know how they feel on my lips. Are they moisturizing and um, are they therapeutic? I like to look for lip therapy. Anyway, moving on. This is going to be an experiment from Jump. I have done my eyebrows. I have primed my eyelids with my uh, Revlon Colorstay Skin Awakening 5-in-1 Concealer. This has turned into an eye primer more than it has any kind of concealer on my face, but it's a really nice primer for eyeshadow. I also did a little bit of color correction, had some pretty outstanding dark circles this morning. And for the first time today, this is the L'Oreal Age Perfect uh, Radiant Serum Foundation. Uh, this is in the shade Natural Buff. This was given to me this past weekend by another friend of mine. She bought it and it was the wrong color shade. I've been wanting to try it. I can tell you, I really like it. I did attempt to pick this up once in Walmart several months ago. I bought it, I got it in the car, I opened it up and the seal was broken and I took it back because mm -mm. With ColourPop, I really, really enjoy ColourPop. They have such fun combination palettes. Their color stories are fun. Their, the quality for the price I feel is good. I'm guessing this is their $14 palette. There are nine shades. Sometimes I just ooh love them so much, other times not so much. It just kind of hit and miss for me I think for some reason. I see a combination of matte shades. I also see shimmer which I love and here uh, right in the middle this shade is Clementine and this is a very chunky glitter. We will not be using this today. I do not want to have to clean up the mess. It doesn't matter whose it is. Chunky glitter for me is usually a no. Like I said, I have not used this before, so I'm gonna be safe and go in with this very muted shade here. It's called Zested. This is a matte shade for a base, and I am just going to I'm gonna put that over my entire lid and see how it behaves. I'm gonna tap it off and see if we got any dust. We got much dust up? Let's try that again. I gotta test the dust up. Not too bad, believe me, I've seen worse. Okay, let's go in. All right, so with ColourPop, when I say it's kind of hit and miss is sometimes there is a ton of dust up, a lot, ton of fallout that ends up you know, in my nose, all over my face. Um, other times it's not the case, like I'm not seeing that so far with this one, not even from the brush before I even put it on my primed eyelids. Um, the other issue sometimes I have is payout. Sometimes the payout is super great, sometimes it's just not so great. And this being the muted shade that it is, it's definitely super neutral, but it is warm and I can see that. I can see because I, it's skipping a little bit as I apply. Again, sometimes when I'm using shadows, if I have primed my lids, also depending on what kind of brush I'm using, it'll skip and I don't know whether it's the product or if it's the prime and the brush. I sometimes just can't tell. There we go, that is the base. That is definitely orange an orange color story. I like to say color story. That's my thing now since I've been doing YouTube. Color story. Now I've got to decide what I'm gonna do for a transition shade. And this is gonna be interesting because these colors are not exactly 
you know, subtle. We've got Sunkissed right there. Let's see here, we've got Rise and Grind. Again, I just have not used this. That is a little more of a burnt orange shade. I don't think I wanna use that for my transition. I'm not being that gutsy and daring today. This shade here is called Creamsicle. That looks like a safe bet. So I'm not taking a lot of risks today. Risk. Oh, it's just eyeshadow because I have to go somewhere and I don't want to look ridiculous. So we are just going to go right in with that creamsicle for a transition shade. I am using this BS Mall Mini Flame Brush. I was using another BS Mall eyeshadow brush. It has a fluffier end for all over application, which I really like. This one's a little smaller and a little more dense, which is why I like to use it for transition. So let's see how this works. Again, I've not done this. Oh, this has a mirror on it too, which is really nice. I can't remember if my other smaller eyeshadow palette from ColourPop has, has a mirror right now. Okay, so that is very subtle, very muted. That's good. Going for the au naturel, even though it's not going to be by the time I get done with this. <laughs> Looking forward to it. All right, so I haven't been on for a bit. How was, for you moms out there, I hope you had a good Mother's Day. Um, you know, whenever it comes to Mother's Day or holidays, things like this, you know, they, these are holidays that celebrate things one way or another. And I know that it's not always a happy time, whether it's Mother's Day or sometimes it's Christmas, you know, because people experience loss or they have broken relationships, things like that. So I want to say just in advance that if you're a mom, I hope that you enjoyed your Mother's Day. But I also want to be sensitive to those out there that maybe did not for whatever reason. Okay, I am really liking this. That is very pretty. I am liking it a lot. So anyway, I didn't mean to didn't mean to jump subjects so fast. We're talking about Mother's Day. I have said in the past, my son every year sends me Tupac. I don't know how to pronounce Tupac's last name. Is it Shakur? I don't know. I'm sorry. I, you know, my son found this song several years ago. It's called Dear Mama. And I've listened to it before and it always makes me just get kind of emotional because it's Tupac is, is honoring his mother and calling out the things that she did in the, in the face of a lot of adversity uh, where he admits not only were they, you know, was he fatherless, um, but he was also making her life difficult with making bad decisions. Apparently he'd been in prison and things like this. Um, but you know, she was a single mom. And so it is a very honoring video and it's, it's uh, very touching. And, and um, he sends it to me every Mother's Day. This year was no exception. It makes me weep. Not gonna do that today though. Okay, I think that's good enough. I think that that worked great. I'm super happy with that. Really liking that right now. I'm in a different part of the house, hoping to keep the noise down. And so my lighting, it looks a little different and my background looks a little different. But my main concern is making sure that you can hear me, there's not a lot of noise in the background and that I can see what the heck I am doing. And so can you. That's really pretty, I like it a lot. All right, so what I'm gonna do next is, I'm gonna pick up this shade here. This is called Sunkissed. So I expect that this to really be out there. So I'm gonna pick up this, um, this Dual End Urban Decay Naked uh, brush. This came from a palette that I used to have. It's a really nice brush and it picks up product really well. Just, just not sure how this is gonna look. But you can probably hear my dog. 
I'm hoping he doesn't start eating or drinking water. I have heard him lapping up water in the past when I've been doing videos and it's like, oh, uh, or eating. I can hear him crunching. I don't have a lot of, a lot of places where I can go where it's, you know, the optimal environment to make videos. So sometimes it's a real challenge, but I'm not gonna let that stop me, even if it's irritating. Love my dog. He's like, I didn't know. I'm like, I know you didn't. <laughs> my sweet boy. I adopted him when he was five years old and he had been through a fair amount of trauma. Now, before I move on with what I was saying, um, this is going on really well. I'm just building it up because I'm enjoying it. <laughs> and I probably have enough there where I can move on, but I'm just, I'm just seeing what it can do. So, uh, so far I haven't gotten any shimmer yet, but so far I am not seeing a lot of dust up. I'm not seeing a ton of fallout and I like, I like the look. I like it. I'm probably going to enhance the transition shade up in the crease. Uh, ultimately, but I, before I do that, I'm gonna start with some shimmer. I'm gonna just play it a little safe, of course, and I'm gonna go in with Squeeze Me here. Okay, this is a BS Mall flat eyeshadow, really good for shimmer. BS Mall brushes that I use came in a, in a collection. They don't have numbers. I have to go by what the package came with each brush and I have to compare the look of it to what it is and some I don't have it with me and I'm sorry but I know that this works really well with shimmer so we're going to give it a shot here with this squeeze me anyway my my little doggy Duncan okay let's see here am I going to be able to finish my story about my dog let me let me let me just finish with this first and then I'll get on back to it so this is very pretty it looks more orange than I thought it would. It, it is basically just giving the sun kissed a shimmery enhancement is what it's doing, um, which is surprising to me. I thought it would tone it down a little bit. I was wrong. Not that I don't like it because I do. Oh my goodness. I really, <laughs> this is not, this is, this is really pretty. I have def I have found out that I actually really do like these sort of shocking popping colors as long as they're not messy. Uh, sometimes the fallout doesn't happen until after I've applied it. It'll show up a little bit later. Hopefully it won't. So I, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go with the Tangerine Dream. Let's do a little combination here. I'm going to sort of just pop that right in the middle and see what happens. See if you can see any subtle difference whatsoever. I can see it. I don't know if you can, but there's definitely a subtle shade difference there where it is bringing it more into a golden, more golden and less orange. Hope you can tell I, I can see it so and but it is very very subtle I'm gonna go ahead and do it on the other side anyway getting back to my dog I rescued him when he was five and he he had been I, I knew immediately something had gone really wrong wherever he was he's a dachshund for one thing and they're unique dogs anyway and how they how they behave they're stubborn they're super smart but they're stubborn and they're notoriously hard to potty train and you know, you've gotta treat them a certain way. They're very protective of their owners. They're very one family oriented. Um, and you know what? We had dachshunds growing up and I wasn't, we, you know, we, we had, we didn't abuse our dogs. So to pick up a five year old dachshund that had clearly been mistreated by the way he would react to certain things he would just freak out and he was really really hard to potty train like so hard 
You know, he wouldn't go outside in a wet grass if it was cold. It's been hard for, for Dunkey. Anyway, he's, he is re rehabilitated in a lot of ways, but he is still very difficult to travel with, to take to other people's houses. The people in my life, a lot of the dog lovers, they have a hard, even they have a hard time with Duncan sometimes, but he's my boy. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of the cream sickle where the transition is and see if I can. Even that out just a little bit. Boy, I really like this palette. I'm shocked. I'm, I'm seriously shocked. I liked the swatches on my fingers, but I just had not taken the time to try it. I really like it. I don't know, can you still get this one? I don't even know. It's probably something I should have checked out, right? I don't know. So mostly when I come on here, um, I just like to put on makeup and talk about makeup. Um, I'm not really, I'm not sponsored by anybody. I'm not literally not trying to influence my, I'm here because and if you can't get this, I'm so sorry, I, I really am. Um, literally, I just like to talk about makeup. I just like to wear it, talk about it, put it on, try it, and just have discussion. I like the, I like the banter that goes back and forth. It's just fun for me that way. There we go. If I were in a situation where I had a stake in the product or I was trying to influence or sell it, I absolutely would find out if it was available, what the pricing is, all that other stuff, but I'm not doing that right now. So this is just fun. This is These, these videos are just meant for fun. I was listening to Laura, Laura Fagelman. I think that's how she pronounces her name. She is, I think she lives in Michigan anyway. She's really sweet. I love watching her videos because she reminds me of me in the sense that when she's you know talking, she's actually processing as she puts her makeup on. She's just kind of going on the fly. And you know it's just for fun, and she she doesn't take it too seriously. She take she takes her YouTube channel seriously, but not like oh you know oh I got to make sure this is perfect. I got to make sure I apply this perfectly. Everything's got to be just perfect. Those quite honestly, those are the those are my favorite type of YouTube um, YouTubers I like to watch because it's very validating to me. <laughs> so Laura, thank you. <laughs> I'll tag you in this so you know I mentioned you. There's a couple of them that I love to watch because it, it's encouraging n knowing that I don't have to be an expert at this. It's very, very encouraging. There's a lot of us out there. There's a lot, there's more of us out there that are a lot like me in how we think about makeup, how we're applying makeup, you know, just basically what our ideology is, how we feel about it, why we're doing it. There's a lot of us that are not makeup artists and super professional and have all the, you know, the latest bells and whistles. So it's really nice. I'm going to go back in a little bit with this zested, which was my base, base color. I'm going to put a little more of this under my brow and then I'm going to clean it up a little bit. I feel like there has been a little bit of a muddying. I'm going to take this fluffy brush here and I am just going to sort of blend a little bit and try to clean up and get some of that overwhelming orange. I feel like I feel like it's sort of gone north and it's just sort of made everything orange. But I, I just feel like I'm having a hard time keeping a transition there. This actually is a pharmacy concealer brush and it's nice and firm and I'm gonna go in there. I may, may have to use a little concealer. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Here's the good news. So far, I'm not really seeing any fallout. I don't feel like I'm gonna have to redo my base makeup, which is awesome, but the orange somehow I managed to muddy it. And so I feel like the transition is not as sharp as I'd like it to be. I am going to take this e.l.f. Flawless Brightening Concealer pen. This is in the shade uh, Fair 10C. Folks, I do not think you can still get this. Uh, I picked this up at Walmart, it was on clearance, and I use it for so many things. One of the nice things I like to do is to use it to sort of go in and 
fix. I use it for not only to contour or brighten, but I can fix things with it, including under my eyebrow. So I want to be really super careful here. I don't want to have to redo my eyebrows because I've got because I got it in my eyebrows. Oh, it's such a balancing act. This does dry down rather quickly. I'm just gonna take this little blending brush here from BS Small and see if I can just fix that, which yes, that worked. I've had to do this before and it worked great. Yes, I am very much liking this palette. I am so loving it. It's fun. It's it really is. It's fun. Okay, that's that's looking better. Now I feel like I'm getting a little bit into the precision, which isn't my favorite thing because it just isn't. Because once I start down the perfection road, I'll never get off of it. So I'll probably just have to stop that right now. All right. So let's see what happens when we add some eyeliner and some mascara. So what am I gonna use for eyeliner? There is the shade, you peel me. I'm gonna use this for my liner shade. I'm gonna start down here first and just see. Okay, yep, I can see, I'm starting to see some fallout here from the shimmer. Let's see if I like that. I do not like, typically, personally, do not like a lot of reds, orange, brick um, type things like that um, for, for liners. I'm not, I'm not a fan of it, but I'll try it if I haven't used it before. Let's go over here. I'm probably going to cover it with something different, but we're just giving it a try today. I don't really think I like that very much. I'm going to use a different shade, at least under my eyes. But before I move on to that, I'm gonna see how it looks as a liner up here. I like to use these shadow palettes for liners as well, which is a lot of people do this, obviously you've seen it before a million times. But one thing I, I do like about it is that using it for a liner, not only gives a, de you know, that lined de definition, but it is a complement to the rest of the the rest of the palette shades that are already applied and sometimes you can just turn it into not so much a liner but maybe a little bit of added depth or drama so this is a very very warm sunny palette and i'm liking this liner for additional you additionally complement the shadow but I'm not a hundred percent sure that it will be my ultimate liner choice here I'm still thinking about it my transition shade isn't as defined as I'd like it to be this ends up solving it a little bit but I try to stay really really on the outer outer corner not not too far in I need to be careful here because I can see that if I get going with this, I'm going to paint myself in a corner, no pun intended, and I'm not going to like it anymore because these shades definitely do run into each other. That's enough of that. I'm going to go back in with this shimmer brush and I'm going to reapply and get back to what I initially tried to do because I think I might have overdone it. I'm going to go back in here with this uh, Squeeze Me. Okay, I'm going to stop playing with this because I feel like I am I'm overdoing it. Okay, I am going to use my Urban Decay Naked uh, Metal Mania palette and I'm going to go in with this shade here called Road Crew. I'm going to use the same liner brush as I did before. Okay. 
Okay, I think this is gonna do the trick. So I'm gonna go off camera, I'm gonna put on mascara. I'll be using my e.l.f. lash extender and I'm gonna clean up a little bit of this mess and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Listen, I have to give a shout out to this L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant uh, Serum Foundation. Uh, this is amazing. I just reapplied under my eyes and it's it's very dewy. The coverage is amazing. I'm, I'm shocked at how, how much I like it. It's really good. So I just wanted to give it a shout out. Thank you, Tanya. Um, so basically all I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna put some bronze, I'm gonna bronze, I'm gonna do my lip and some blush and I will be done. So I am going to go in with my IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Bronzer. This is Beach. This does have a fragrance to it. It reminds me of the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. The, th the difference between this and the Physician's Formula though is the Physician's Formula, you can smell it on the palette but once it gets on your face, you can't smell it anymore and I've noticed that this actually lingers. A little bit it doesn't really bother me but if you don't like fragrance at all it may not be your favorite thing but it's a very nice bronzer and it does blur things I'm gonna use this be a small very fluffy powder brush sometimes I will use a more controlled sponge but I'm not gonna do that today I'm just gonna put this warm up my face it's it really is just a very nice Gonna have to tone that down a little bit, but I like to use bronzer to warm up my face, and frankly, I like to put it all over my face. Not everyone thinks that that's appropriate, but it's whatever floats your boat, right? So it just gives a nice, just a little bit, warms it up just a little bit, and blurs things. It's just a really beautiful bronzer. Ah. Love it, love it, love it. Next, I'm gonna move on to the lip. It's gonna be neutral. This is the Essence Soft and Precise Pencil in the shade Legendary. And I'm going to line my lips and just give them a little bit more fullness. Regarding lip pencil application, I was watching somebody on YouTube just this morning applying her lip pencil and she was talking about not bringing it all the way down so she goes we don't want to have the droopy lip and I was like oh I didn't even think of that because I tend to line my entire lip so I'm gonna do it her way this time but I like to use lip pencil because first of all it keeps the lip color uh, some oftentimes from running into my lines it also gives a the appearance of more of a full lip and since I'm a I'm more of a fan of gloss than I am of lipstick it brings a, a gloss to life in my opinion that's how I, that's why I like it so not all the way I'm not doing it all the way I wonder does that look funny didn't look funny on her. That feels like it's uneven. Maybe it's just me. Okay, good enough. Lip color, I am going to be using my favorite drugstore lip gloss and that would be the NYX Butter Gloss. This is the shade Creme Brulee and it's a little bit too light pink for me and um, I'm gonna mix it by itself but I'm gonna mix it with the shade Madeline and I think the two together I haven't tried it yet but I think the two together might be a good contrast to what I've got going on in my eyes I don't know I'm gonna try it right now but so this is the creme brulee and actually married with that legendary that doesn't look so bad i actually like it but it's washed out compared to my eyes let's add some madeline and see how that looks i really enjoy these butter glosses number one they're affordable number two 
they uh, do not irritate my lips. I feel like I'm allergic to 90% of lip products. Mm. Well, that still looks like, it, it seems like it's still a little bit too pale, but let's see if the blush will bring it all together. So for the blush plan today, I'm gonna to be mixing my e.l.f. camo liquid blushes and this is the shade Dusty Rose and I'm gonna mix it with Coral Crush. This by itself, I'm concerned it might be too much orange all over my face. So I'm gonna add just a touch of this, but I'm hoping that these, this mixture and the blush sort of pull the whole look together um, and I don't have to do anything more with my lips. I'm just gonna use my finger to blend that. That is the outcome. Still pretty bright, isn't it? Because they are very pigmented. So. Hmm. I'm gonna add a little bit more though of this dusty rose. Tone that down a little bit. Just a little. I love mixing, it's so fun. That is pretty. So I am going to go in with this flat angled BS small brush and I'm gonna just start up here. Be really careful. Ooh. I like to put blush, I don't just put it on the apples of my cheeks and I don't necessarily strategically place it clear up here for a lift. I like to put blush everywhere where it seems like the sun would hit, right? That's what I do. And I really rather like this. I like the contrast. I'm really happy with this. This, <laughs> this turned out better than I thought. Usually when it comes to these Camel, liquid camel blushes because they're so versatile. Sometimes, obviously, you know, I can add too much. It can be overpowering, but then I just sheer it out, so it's no big deal. But I've had such fun playing with them, and they really are very beautiful, and they're affordable. They're only $7 e.l.f. blushes, so. All right. Okay. I like the lip with the cheek and then the eye pop. So it feels like from bottom down, it's just going really kind of pretty and natural and then what I pop so I like it I'm not gonna go in with any powder or anything right now I don't feel like I want to I didn't even do any contour which is pretty amazing for me so this is a win and then this surprise radiant serum uh, foundation from L'Oreal by the way this has SPF 40 so I know we still need to use sunscreen even if it has a high SPF but I'm just saying SPF 40 these two have created a great makeup day for me <laughs> So thanks for stopping by. As usual, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.